guess what? The Women's World Cup is on. Did you know? Did you care? Was it advertised? Is it really that deep? No, it ain't. And that is the funny thing about it. Ladies, no one cares about your sports. Somebody's got to tell the truth. Somebody's got to stop spreading these lies because, ladies, I don't know who you've been talking to and I don't know what you ladies are talking about, but no one cares about your sports. You don't care about your sports. You see, the Women's World Cup is on right now. Don't believe me? Go check it. G guys and girls, go and check it out. The Women's World Cup is on right now. No one cares. It ain't drawing the numbers. I I'm in London right now. The streets of London ain't packed. The pubs ain't packed. The nightclubs ain't packed. No one cares. And then ladies have got the audacity. Women have got the audacity to say things like, oh, I, I, I think we should be paid the same as men when it comes to football. Now, that should have been game, set, match. A howitzer off the bar a moment ago from Clara Ball. Israele 37ª. Quello FIFA poi Italia 13ª. Israele 68ª. Ed è arrivato il quarto gol con Giuliano proprio mentre stavamo... Met de kop aan de goal. SP Brugs doet het voor PSV. This time still holding on to the ball. Leaves it for Flint. Flint shots. Is goes to Hannah Hampton. But then it's past her and Natasha Flint. And you really, really well to get to that stage. Mistake here by Hampton and it could lead to the opener and it does. Oh, you have to feel for the young goalkeeper. You oh, get out of here. Get out of town. Look, it's like this. Ladies, stop the delusion, okay? If you want to pull in Messi money, Ronaldo money, Neymar money, you're going to have to pull in the audience. You're going to have to get people interested. But do you know what? People aren't interested in women's sports. Definitely not interested in women's football. I mean, come on. The average lady on the street right now, I could get out my car right now and ask the average lady on the street to name me three female players from the international team. They wouldn't be able to do it. They would not be able to do it. Okay. Don't worry about that. They would not be able to do it, okay? You have got women on TV programs talking about, oh, I think women should be paid the same. Do you know what's funny? I actually watched a, um, a football match between retired footballers, male retired footballers, and female professionals, and the men whooped them. The retirees! whooped them again you got to be careful there's a shot and there's a goal first goal for the keeper nice spin move here by Where's lloyd lloyd yes. another shot and another goal and yet to look for the players running off of him it's a big ask but well there's trundle able to turn and get another goal but trundle able to keep it with the left and trundle with his second goal it's now five. No yeah, so far so good in this game. So far so good. Another goal. Trundle. Left, have a left, you were. Murkoff trying to move around, and that's going to be a nice pass in a. Murkoff takes that shot with the left and swinging to make that perfect contact. And that was. I mean, it's a fast pace. You know, a lot of these guys have a lot of experience. And so, I'm sitting here wondering. Where did women get this delusion from that they deserve to be paid the same as men in sports? You don't even know who's playing right now. You don't know what team's playing. You don't know who the characters are, who the players are. You know, you don't know who the managers are. 
And you've got the audacity to say that women should be paid the same as men when it comes to football. The delusion is strong with you ladies, man. It really is strong with you ladies. And I'm, I'm just sitting here wondering when, when women are gonna get real with themselves and just, you know, admit to themselves that, look, you have to be the ones to, fo to, to, to make this thing push forward. You have to be the one to make these things push forward, ladies, okay? If you want to be paid the same as men, you've got to be just as interested in football as men are. When the Men's World Cup is on, oh my God, in London, I'm actually driving in London today right now. When I'm in London, right, and the men's football is on, mate, it's, it's, it's actually crazy. A World Cup win against Brazil pushed women's sport into the headlines, but it's definitely not reflected in their earnings. Each Matilda was paid just $500 in match fees. Compare that oh. to the 7,500 their male counterparts would have received. Now, if they make it to the final, the girls will get $5,500 mm. each. The blokes will get $69,000 each. Each! Each! Oh. How can anyone justify this, item? They can't. No. I, I mean, the gender... I beg your pardon. I can justify How? this. How? Why? Well, I, I tell you what, stars don't get paid more money because, uh, I mean, you, a sport doesn't become interesting because the stars are paid more money. Stars get paid more money because the sport is interesting. Let me ask you this. How many of you guys on the panel know who our Australian Matildas are playing in the quarterfinals? No, because you don't care about it. Now, if you cared about it... I do it, if they win. No, no, they but beat, that's the thing. They beat do you know what? All of you can go and watch W League uh, games in the women's competition here, but you don't. Mm. Now, when you start to go and watch these women play the wonderful football they do, then they'll earn more money. But it's... I don't go to watch the men play football either. Yeah, I know, but a lot mm. of people do, I tell you. The men's World Cup is one of the biggest money spinners on the planet. Women's football, even though at grassroots level it's working really, really well, it's got a long way to go. The other thing, let me ask you this about sports equality. The top ten fastest men of all time in terms of sprinters are all black, of African or uh, origin. Are you telling me that the white guys should say, hold on, we should be paid just as much as the black guys for sprinting? No, because they're not as fast. You, <laughs> ladies, everyone's at work, right? You're in the nail shop, you're in the hair shop. It's not on the TV. Don't lie. When you're getting your nails done right now and you're getting your hair done right now, you know the World Cup's not on the TV right now. If it was in a barber shop right now with guys in a men's hair salon or Wherever where men gather, the football would be on. You don't look at football the same. You don't look at it the same. So please stop lying to everyone, acting like you care about women's football when you should be paid the same. You know it's you know it's a lie, you know it's wrong. This equality, feminism, aggressive feminism has really messed up the heads of so many women. It is absolutely unbelievable. Women, you're going to have to do better because we don't believe you. You don't even believe you. That's the thing. You don't even believe you. You don't believe yourselves. You just say things. Yeah, we should be paid the same. Why? Uh, because, you know, the, the women's game is just as good as the men's game. Really? Are you sure about that? Ladies, seriously, just stop lying. Stop lying as to how interested into female sports you are. You've got in America, you've got the WNBA. It's at a loss financially. Okay, women don't care about the sport. Oh, we should be paid the same. No, you shouldn't. I'm going to say it. Call me a misogynist. Okay, call me a woman hater. Call me whatever the hell you like. I'm neither one of those, but it doesn't matter. All that matters is the way women feel nowadays. And they feel like they should be paid the same as Ronaldo and Messi. <laughs> oh, the delusion is strong with you guys, or you gals, or you its, or you thems, or you theys, or whatever it is that you call yourself nowadays to not get offended or to get offended. I don't even know. But all I'm saying is, listen, go watch the Women's World Cup because you never knew it was on and neither did I.